Yo, Elliot, I'm 30 years old, working nine to five while building my side hustle that is really slow, but steadily coming up. I'm in contact with a potential traditional wife, a potential traditional wife, nice. She's 31 years of age and has been a loyal friend since high school, stand-up girl with morals, manners, and from the same cultural background. A few of my concerns about getting into a relationship are, number one, I have no time for a relationship or a family for at least a year or two until I'm able to quit my nine to five completely. Number two, she is supportive of what I do, but not interested in what I do, which is life coaching and content creation. My love language is words of affirmation, so it's important for me to be thanked and admired for my work. Do you think this is a real need for a harmonious relationship, or do you think this is an opportunity to adjust? Okay, good. So I'm gonna address the second question. We'll come back to the first one, because I have a very adamant answer about this. Your wife does not need to be interested in what you do. She does not need to be interested in anything you do. What she needs to do is respect what you do. Be grateful for what you do. Admire you for your sacrifice, but it's not up to her to be caught up in the excitement of what you do. In fact, it might be better that she's not because then she's gonna wanna offer her opinions about it and you don't want her opinions. You want her loyalty. You want her respect. This whole idea that she needs to somehow be interested and enrolled in what I do comes from a feminist perspective as well because we tend to think that when we, uh, it's a couple different things. It's, it's, it's a degradation of masculinity and the promotion of feminist ideology when we think in this way. What do I mean? Well, why do you need your woman to affirm you in your work? Well, that's a diminution of your masculine frame and your masculine sense. Men, affirm, men are affirmed by other men. Men are mirrored by other men. That's why fathers are so important because mommy can tell you that you're great all day long, but it means nothing until daddy gives you his approval. When dad gives his approval, then you're truly approved because mommy loves you anyway. Do you follow? And so when we're looking for this affirmation from a woman, it's because we're still looking for mommy's love. What you do need and what I need and what is difficult to receive, I admit even for me, but is iron sharpens iron. We need affirmation or compelling conversation with other men. Need another man to say, you know what? I like what you're doing, but I think you could do it better. I like what you're doing, I admire it, but I think that you, you can do it with more excellence. That's what a man does because he's sharpening your iron. A woman is just patting you on your back to make you feel good like your mommy does. Don't need your mommy's affirmation. That's what you're looking for from your girl. And then it also, so it's a diminution of, of masculinity. You need not have affirmation from your wife. You need her admiration, not, ask, not affirmation. You need her admiration, I admire you. You need her respect, I will submit to you. And you need her gratitude, I thank you. That's it. But I get it, the world has told women that they should be like men, and so men have also come to believe that their woman should be like a man too. So they want their women to have the same masculine interests that they do as men. But it's unnecessary and it's dumb. I don't want my wife to have the same interests and passions there, you, you know, what I, I would say, that I do. I don't want, because, I, because it's mine, <laughs> right? It's mine. I, and so what will happen in a lot of relationships, I see this, especially guys in the fitness industry, because they want a girl that lifts. It then becomes a competition between the two partners. She'll then, now because she's in your frame, want to compete with you in there. My uncle used to deal with a wife that had, was like that. Everything that he got into, she followed him because he wanted her. He, and he does this. I've seen him do it. He encouraged her to come and do this with me. But then these women are like, okay, great. They take it on and then they become, they have opinions about the way he's doing it. Or they want to challenge him 
in what he's doing or they want to one up him, man up on him about what he's doing. You don't want a woman to do that. I want one woman content at home with the babies receiving my love. Stay home and receive the gift that I can bring based on what I'm doing out there. My wife doesn't really know everything I'm doing. And she, does, she really doesn't care what I'm doing. I know she doesn't care. Sometimes I'll bring up like an issue that I'm dealing with. And when I, it's different from when I was younger to who I am now. Because I know better now. When I was younger, if I brought up an issue about something that I was dealing with or I wanted to share, right? I bring it up to her. I could tell right away when she checks out. She's just not interested. And it wouldn't be very long before I start talking and I'm like, she's not really even interested. And when I was younger, I would get offended. She's not, she's not passionate about the things I am. The problem was that I was expecting her to give me some mommy love. Oh, dear, dear. That's so wonderful. You know, when you're, when you're a kid and you make ugly art and your mama still loves it? Oh, that's so nice. She don't love that art. She loves you. And so what you're looking for is for her to give you that same kind of mommy love, affirming you. Now, I got so much more going on in my life and in my business. And when I go to talk to my wife about it and I see her check out, I just keep talking. Because I'm not talking, I'm not telling her for her. I'm telling her because I feel like talking right now. I'm, I'm working this out in my mind. And I just, I just need to hear myself saying it. And she just happens to be an earshot. And there are times when she'll even... Because she loves me, and she, she's trying, and she, and she thinks that I want this, but I realize I don't, especially now that I'm older. She would try to give advice, <laughs> give her opinion about something, and I know she don't understand anything about what I'm talking about, but she offered her ignorant opinion. <laughs> I love my wife, so I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not making fun of her. I'm not like mad at her about that, but in my mind, I, I used to get upset with that, too. I'm like, Damn, she don't even understand. That's when I was a beta male. Now when she comes and I'm talking about something and she really don't know what I'm talking about, but she wants to contribute. She wants to, okay, like I want to, I, I want to, she wants to affirm me. I see her trying to do that. I'll just, you know, I, I hear her out. I'm like, yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, babe. Yep, I love you. And then I, and then I go on. I'm not really trying to get advice from her because I know that she doesn't know and I don't want her to pretend like she knows but if she offers something, I know it's because she wants to show me her love in that way. And that's okay. I'll receive it. But I don't, but I don't need it, and I don't try to turn it into something more than it is. You say your love language is words of affirmation, which it may be, but you need that from your father. Words of affirmation carry no weight when they come from your mother. Words of affirmation carry power when they come from the father because the father is critical father energy masculine energy is critical energy it's compelling energy it's iron sharpens iron energy and so you want it and a lot of men i've been there too we have a hard time accepting it we don't know how to receive father love and and and, and receive it objectively too don't take it too seriously so for example i wrote some copy for something that i want to sell and I gave, I exposed it to someone, a man, and I asked his opinion, and he had all kinds of critical things to say. And so I, even me, I have to catch myself because immediately I'm like, I'm like, wait, wait a second, right? I'm like, so I'm making, I, immediately I'm calling him names in my in my head. I'm fighting back. I'm resisting. It's just my, you know, it's it's our it's our nature. But then. I caught myself, I saw what I was doing instantly. I was like, let me just hear what this man has to say. There may be some value. There may be something I'm not seeing and maybe he's right. That's iron sharpening iron, but the iron has to allow the iron to sharpen it. Hmm, be objective, hmm. Words of affirmation aren't always, you're doing a good job, keep up the good work, you're awesome. Imagine you go to a, a, a coach, imagine you hire a coach. Imagine you come to me and you ask me my opinion on something that you know sucks. And I say, oh, that's wonderful. That's great. That's a nice thing. But you know in your mind, you're like, no, I know I can do better than that. That's really a sloppy slapdick job I did. 
why is Elliot telling me that I did a good job? Because Elliot's being affirming like a female. He's not, he's not being a compelling voice for you, a compelling masculine voice for you. A compelling, what, what is compel? Compel is to sort of force, is a forceful. Hey, you can do better than that. That's kind of what, it's really what we need. That's masculine love. And so you're really craving masculine love that you're not getting from your girl because she really not supposed to give it to you. And so stop looking for it from her. Respect is what you need. Respect is what you should look for. Respect, uh, adoration, right? Admiration, right? You, you want a woman that looks up to you. So you're, look, you're doing the life coaching and content creation thing. She just needs to know that, man, my man is working. My man is working and he's making it happen and he's very uh, engaged in his work. He's, I can see he's very passionate about that thing and I admire his willingness to sacrifice for his mission and for his family. That's what you want. You don't want her to be... Uh, Look, watching your 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 content or or criticizing your life coaching. No, you hire you hire a coach or you speak to other men or you listen to your clients about stuff like that. Not her. So just kind of tying this last part up. Do you think this is a real need for a harmonious relationship, or do you think it is an opportunity to adjust? Yeah, you need to drop that like a hot like a hot potato. You don't need that. She is supportive of what I do, but not interested. That's fine. That's fine. That's she. In fact, she's a perfect woman in that way. She's supportive, but disinterested. That's the best. That's the best because she's going to support you, but she's not going to meddle. You don't want a meddling. You don't want a meddling wife. And that's not to say that you're not interested in her opinion. You are, especially in things that are related to, you know, Family, you are, you are interested in her. But not when it comes to your craft, your work, your career, right? And so you're in, a good, you're in a good situation, you're in a good place. Keep it that way, don't complain. You say I have no time for relationships or family for at least two years uh, until I'm able to quit my nine to five. Now, that is completely up to you. I, I'm not gonna touch that, that's yours. You decide what you wanna do about that. I got married at 23, I had nothing. Started a family right away. Built my business through the motivation of feeding my family. That's, that's, that's the way I work best. I work best when there's a fire under my ass. The minute that fire is removed from under my ass, I get lazy. I don't know what else to say. I become content. I can very easily become content. But when I got a fire under my ass, nobody working harder or faster or longer than old Uncle E. And so I don't know. You say two years to quit your job, your nine to five? <laughs> that sounds like a hell of a long time, bro. How about you do the thing and then get the power? That's just a suggestion. How about you quit your job and you figure out how to make your non-job work? Right? Like now you have to make it work. Now you just can't leave. Remember that from the movie Goodfellas? <laughs> when he gives him a chance, the guys that walk into the mafia bar that started causing problems, the bikers. And he gives the guy a couple chances, like, hey, get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Leave. This is, you don't want to be here. It's going to turn ugly. And the guys don't listen to him. And he finally goes over to the door. He locks the door and he says, now you can't leave. And a big brawl, action, action, whole action scene happen. Big fighting scene happen. It's going to same thing that's going to happen with you. you. You quit your nine to five, you lock that door and you say, now you can't leave. Think about what kind of energy, think about what kind of action is going to happen when you do that. Well, I'm not telling you you need to do it. I'm just saying that's a different way to look at it. You could, you could wait and you could build and you can stack and you can prepare all you want. 
and wait to live your life? I don't know. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I'm not saying that there's a right or wrong. Or you jump, you jump in and figure life out. I jump in and figure shit out. If I try to wait, I have no momentum. So that's up to you, bro. I hope that helps, dude. Done.